Today is November 9th. Pastor is saying to us, out of Satan's domain. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Colossians chapter 1, verses 12 to 13. Giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son. Being born again, you've been translated, or transferred, from the domain of darkness into the kingdom of God. It's a domain of life, light, and great glory. Satan has no claims over you or anything that has to do with you because you are not in his jurisdiction. You were called out of Satan's domain into God's marvelous light. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you shall show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Those who aren't born again, however, are by nature in bondage to Satan, but fated by the adversities and terrors of life, unable to free themselves. They are in gross darkness with no hope of ever coming out because they are living without God. Their only hope is to receive salvation in Christ Jesus. This should immediately get you thinking about your family members, friends, business associates, colleagues, and neighbors who haven't yet known the Lord. You are God's vessel to bring them into salvation in Christ, to bring them out of darkness and the domain of Satan into the light and glorious liberty of the sons of God. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19 says, To wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. No human being can save himself. We couldn't have done it by ourselves. And that's why Jesus came. Through his vicarious death, salvation became possible. And through his glorious resurrection, eternal life was made available. It's what makes us superior to Satan and above the elements of this present world of darkness. We have eternal life to God nature. Hallelujah. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, I thank you for the benefits of salvation and the life of righteousness that you brought me into by virtue of the vicarious sacrifice of Christ and his glorious resurrection. I walk in the reality of my new life in Christ, fully aware that I have been justified by faith and I have peace with you through the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. For further study, please read Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 to 6, and Colossians chapter 1, verses 12 to 13 of the Amplified Classic. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Hebrews chapter 9, verses 1 to 10, and Lamentations chapters 1 to 2. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 1 to 12, and Ezekiel chapter 40. Absentee of reality.